Thank you for joining us here at the World Travel Awards this evening. How does it feel to have won? Well, it's a fantastic moment after a tough year, fierce competition, hard work on our side to end 2011 with being voted three times in a row the best airline in the world. How can you better, you know, start 2012? It's a very motivational moment for us, for all of us at Etihad. That means a lot to us and gives us the energy, the fuel, yeah, to continue delivering what we have delivered in 2011 into the future. Um, the Middle East is the emerging powerhouse of aviation and Etihad is perhaps leading that. How do you see the future for the carrier? Well, first of all, you know, yes, you're right. You know, we always considered ourselves as challenging the industry, um, finding our very own fresh approach towards um, bringing back, let's say, the passion of flying, um, delivering experience that is superior to what the industry has known uh, to date. And um, I think we we have achieved that by consistently, you know placing our benchmarks, let's say, beyond the um, accepted standards of, of, of aviation and by somehow ignoring what the limitations of the industry are and say there must be a way to go beyond that. Um, I think that's certainly something that uh, is, is, is uh, what the region in general and aviation in general um, uh, tries to do and tries to achieve. Now our advantage is, you know, starting to, to build an airline from scratch and um, having no legacy um, starting with a clean sheet of paper certainly allows us yeah, um, not to um, accept any any boundaries or, 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 or any of these these um, uh, legacy situations that maybe other airlines are struggling with. So that's the advantage that we have as a young airline and we try to take uh, full benefit of that. And just finally, you've, uh, you've been making headlines in the last few weeks by um, taking a stake in, uh, in a new carrier. Well, we always said that we are interested in uh, commercial partnerships. We were you know, one of the most frequently asked questions um, when does uh, Etihad join an alliance. We always said um, we don't say no to an alliance but the moment has to be the right um, the right moment and, and uh, um, meanwhile with over 30 um, commercial corporations and partnerships that we that we have co-chair partnerships um, we, we found our, our ordinary own way to um, expand our network sell beyond our our, our own network and um, with with uh, what we have done with or continue to do with uh, uh, Virgin Australia or now with Air Berlin is just following that successful um, pattern of, of finding the right partners with the same ambition um, and the opportunity to create a win-win uh, partnership that allows us to expand our network strategically into those geographies which are important to us, we are important to Abu Dhabi, to our hub, to our home in support of, of Abu Dhabi's master plan. And that's what we have done with Air Berlin, access into Germany, access into, into Europe and we are very excited about this strategic opportunity that this partnership provides us. Well congratulations once again, Thank I hope we'll see you again Thanks next year. Thank you. Thank you.